this Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Let's get to the Houston Texans and the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins off of a bye week here. Look at that line, 14 points. I know Lovey Smith has said midweek, we are not going to say who the quarterback is. Okay, that's not an endorsement of Davis Mills, who's not been very good as of late. The Texans are obviously in trouble. The line is 46, Miami at home. There's not an official play. Scott, quickly to you. No official play. Just give me a quick thought or two. Uh, yep, Kyle Allen looks like he's going to start now. To me, it's the same as Davis Mills, so you know nothing really different there. Largest uh, spread that Miami's had at home as a favorite since going back to 2003, Ironically, wow. against Houston, and they lost that game, you know, for whatever that's worth, which is really nothing. But um, look, you know, this is a large line. My numbers basically support where the number's at, so no play for me. Uh, but I, I just don't see Houston really stopping Miami. The only question here, Miami's defense has been a little bit suspect. And can Houston backdoor a large number at the end of the game with, with a touchdown, you know, meaningless touchdown to get to 20 points and, you know, lose 33 to 20 or something? Uh, but no play for me in this game. Yeah, Mills threw the pick six right away in the game with Washington last week. They never really recovered uh, at home. Uh, they've been awful as, as of late. Chris Farley, any thoughts here on Miami off the bye week at home? It looks like it has rock and roll written all over it for the Dolphins. Any thought? Yeah, I mean, historic offense so far from Miami. And it checks out as another game where they should be able to put a lot of margin on the team because Tua gets that ball out fast, right? Their offense just runs up and down the field, and they can just get ahead of you uh, by 10, 20 points really quickly, especially if you have an offense like Houston, like the Browns in the last Dolphins game, where they, they can score at the same pace. They can score with the same explosion, right? We just haven't seen that from the Texans all year. And, you know, even though this line is, is massive and, you know, potentially a little bit inflated on the Dolphins here, I think they kind of deserve it. You know, a, a Texans team, I mean, how are they going to keep up here? It's going to take maybe two 80-yard runs from Damian Pierce or something I can't count on that. So I would lean Miami. I would just caution now because the market is definitely caught up to the Miami Dolphins, right? And this this is a huge line in an NFL game. No doubt about that. So no official play. Again, the Dolphins still chasing the Bills and in contention with New England in what's a very competitive AFC East. They will take the wins however they can get them, and they get an easy opportunity here with Houston at home off a bye week in that matchup. 